When conducting a hypothesis testing, there is a probability for us to commit an error in making a conclusion. This error happened because we are trying to test the condition of a population or a population parameter where most frequently is unknown. As a result, we try to infer the information of the population based on various information either from past historic data or from a sample data. However, our information may not really represent the true population parameter. Thus, an error may arise. When conducting a statistical test for hypothesis testing, there are two errors that are known, type 1 error and type 2 error. In this session, we will discuss the definition of the two errors and understand further through example. We will also use a case to calculate the probability of conducting a type 2 error. So let's just start. Type 1 and type 2 error arise when we conduct hypothesis testing. We can say that this error is the fallacy that happens when we reject or not reject the H null or the hypothesis that we are trying to prove. Let's use the table to understand about this two errors. Here we present the reality condition, which we do not have knowledge about. Uh, thus, we use sample data to find out about the real condition. So we have two uh, condition that H null is truly true and H null is truly false. If, for instance, the H null is true, but our sample data made us to conclude in rejecting H null. Then we have commit a type 1 error. If H null is actually true and our sample, sample data has brought us to not reject the H null, then we made a correct decision. The next condition, if H null is actually false and based on our sample data we conclude in rejecting the h null then we made a correct decision but if h null is truly false and based on our sample data we conclude not to reject h null then we have made a type 2 error thus a type 1 error happens when we reject a true hypothesis and a type 2 error is when we do not reject a false hypothesis. As an illustration of type 1 and type 2 error, uh, let us use this example. There's this girl. She's attracted to one of the guy in her group. Since they have several classes together, her interest grew more and more. She is thinking to make a move and, and ask him to have a coffee. She doesn't know his true feeling, feeling, so she made an assumption. She will ask him to have a coffee with her if she as assumes he is also attracted to him and not if she assumes her feelings does not reciprocate. Let's see the condition with the table. The first condition, the girl didn't ask him for a coffee date because she thinks he is not attracted and in the reality he isn't attracted to her. So this girl made a correct decision. The second condition, the girl didn't ask him for a coffee because she thinks he is not attracted. While in the reality, if she asked him to go for a coffee, he would accept it because he is actually attracted. So, this made the girl conducting a type 1 error. The third condition, the girl asked the guy for a coffee because she thinks the guy is attracted to her. The guy resp responded with a yes because he is actually attracted to her. So the girl made the right decision. Now the last condition is in reality, the guy isn't attracted to her, but the girl thinks the guy is attracted to her. So she asked him for a coffee, but got refused. 
the girl had made a type 2 error.